In this episode, we're plunging headfirst into culinary creations that will defy your wildest dreams. But first, let's back up. Delhi, the vibrant heart of India, serves as an emblem to the nation's dynamic culture and storied history. With a staggering population surpassing 33 million, Delhi proudly claims its position as one of the world's most populous urban centers. Here, you can find India's most unique, exotic, and bizarre eats. From a foamy creation, so addictive, it draws its name from opium. To a unique testicular delicacy that introduces you to a new world of offbeat flavors. Mostly customer, families or couples. Expect the unexpected as we discover the most unique street food of Delhi. The dish you are about to see will sweep you off your feet. We're starting in a humble street side kitchen that's been mastering flavors in Delhi for over 75 years. These third generation proprietors are the guardians of one of South Asia's most remarkable traditional foods, taking the lead as our delectable headliner, goat feet. <laughs> Introducing Kurode, directly translating to leg or feet. Through generations, this heartwarming soup has remained a beloved wintertime delight, gracing the tables of both locals and those privileged to partake in its flavorsome embrace. To create this dish, simmer the goat feet for half an hour, allowing their natural gamey flavors to meld and infuse. As the magic unfolds, start crafting the broth. Heat up ghee in a vessel, add ginger garlic paste, then sprinkle in a blend of chili and turmeric powder. Fill a pot with water and season it with a pinch of salt. Then India's triple spice threat, mutton masala, garam masala, and coriander powder. After the goat feet have finished boiling, carefully transfer them to a pressure cooker and introduce our heartwarming masala broth. Allow this mixture to simmer until the feet achieve a delightful tenderness. While it may look intimidating to some, don't be fooled. This feet-filled soup is an extraordinary amalgamation of flavors and textures that promise to warm the body and delight the palate. The harmonious blend of the sumptuously rich stew and the tender, chewy goat feet make it the ideal choice, whether you're seeking a comforting cure for a hangover or a hearty everyday lunch. Butter, carbs, cheeses, and a treasure trove of spices make Indian food utterly irresistible. Yet our next destination in Delhi catapults culinary obsession to unparalleled heights. Enter a foamy egg dish bearing the intriguing name of opium, a testament to its addictive qualities. Outlet तो वो चम्मच से मसाले डालते हैं और मैं चुटकी से यूं करके डालता हूं क्यों क्योंकि एक क्वांटिटी होती है सामान की और ये देना और उसको परोस के बनाना यही एक कला है In the vibrant culinary landscape of Delhi, Sikandar Omelette takes center stage with an impressive menu featuring over 50 diverse egg preparations. However, the true star of their show is the opium egg pot, a dish so irresistibly addictive that it caused a viral sensation. Here's how it's made. Preheat butter in a pan, then crack two eggs in a bowl. Add onions, green chili, red chili powder, salt, turmeric powder, coriander, and tomatoes. Whisk these delightfully fresh ingredients together and pour the eggy mixture into the pan. Slice up toasted bread and add that to our omelette. 
top it with grated boiled eggs, fresh coriander, succulent tomatoes, and a proprietary masala crafted from an exquisite blend of 17 diverse spices. Drizzle on some mayonnaise and flip the omelette in half. Then add two cheese slices and place everything in a clay pot. Now, the celebrity ingredient we've been dying to meet, that addictive foam. Butter, grated eggs, coriander, tomatoes, salt, red chili, a secret 17 spice masala, and Chinese masala all get whipped up vigorously until the foam is formed. Pour it over our pot and finish with even more boiled eggs, coriander, mayonnaise, and red chili flakes. The opium egg pot is a dream dish for any egg enthusiast. Creamy layers of omelette create a rich base, harmonizing with a fiery spice blend, and the foamy crown adds an extra bold kick of flavor. If you find yourself already craving more, well, you're not alone. Our next dish reminds us of a time when our hunter-gatherer ancestors savored substantial meat parts for survival. Step into a deli restaurant that boldly serves colossal mutton legs. Mutton roast, mashallah, the people who are eating the mutton in roast. This is a roast, it's very good, it's very good. And it's very good to eat. And it's a lot of Arabian culture. It's a lot of Gulf and Gulf countries. We have also prepared it here, so people have also got a lot of good reviews. We have come to our big brother's mind, mashallah. He has also focused on his focus. And he has also focused on his country. It's a lot of good to eat. 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 Meet Mutton Run, a 16th century culinary legend from the Mughlai era, featuring a majestic whole roasted leg of lamb. To craft this extraordinary dish, begin with curd, enhancing it with a robust blend of turmeric, fenugreek seeds, garam masala, corn flour, red chili powder, salt, and yellow chili powder. When the seasonings have melded into a symphony of taste, introduce our flavor-packed marinade to the boiled mutton leg, ensuring that every nook and cranny is generously coated in this delicious concoction. Time to grill. Give our meat 20 minutes to reach peak grilling perfection. And finish with a gentle beating to ensure it transforms into delectable tenderness. Complete with chopped masala, lime, a scoop of clarified butter or ghee, fresh cream, and fresh coriander. Confronting this colossal mutton leg will awaken your most primal instincts. The moment you sink your teeth into this fall off the bone meat enveloped in a luscious creamy sauce, you're sure to experience a true culinary bliss. When you hear brain, your thoughts likely race to the complexities of the human mind. But in Delhi, there's a deliciously different perspective to consider, akin to a crowd-pleasing Indian street food. Welcome to the intriguing world of magaz, a dish that's not only a culinary delight, but it's also believed to boost memory. Ignite the tawa to set our culinary escapade in motion. Cascade a vessel with a generous drizzle of oil. With a touch of artistry, lay the goat brain onto a canvas, intermingling it with vibrant red onion slices. Then let this flavorful fusion hit the heat for a magical three minutes. Add ginger and green chili. Then cut the brain into small pieces and mix it well. For the grand finale, crown this masterpiece with a few generous scoops of homemade gravy. This masterful concoction boasts the essence of coriander, chili, garo masala, curd, ginger garlic paste, and rich notes of tomato puree. <laughs> the texture is a grand symphony of opulence, fusing crumbly and creamy elements, similar to the embrace of freshly warmed cottage cheese. And as you take your first bite, the flavors of exotic spices slice through the richness of the brain, crafting a permanent imprint on your palate.
As our culinary journey nears its conclusion, we venture into an unconventional realm of gastronomy as we delve into the world of testicles. Here, in the heart of the capital, we meet a connoisseur who presents a truly premium offering of these unique, fallacious delicacies. <laughs> This is Gura Kapoor Kaleji, a renowned South Asian culinary masterpiece comprising three distinctive components. Sort of a Kapoor's list. Gurda, signifying the liver, Kaleji, representing the kidneys, and lastly, Kapoor, an intriguing reference to the delicate fatty tissue that completes the ensemble, goat testicles. Start by cutting the goat testicles, kidneys, and liver into small chunks. Immerse them with a bath of turmeric-infused water, a transformative ritual that lends not only flavor, but also a visual dance of colors. Regrettably, we lack a snapshot of this. Yikes! Now it's time for culinary alchemy. Melt a cube of butter on a sizzling tawa and watch it transform into liquid gold. Add chopped ginger, green chili, coriander, and a few scoops of mutton gravy made from onions, bar masala, red chili, tomatoes, and mutton stock. Hey. Continue the culinary performance with tomato puree, a hint of salt, cumin powder, red chili powder, garam masala, and coriander powder. Fresh coriander adds a final touch of vibrancy. Then our boiled organs gracefully make their epic entrance. Finish with a squeeze of lemon, mayonnaise, fresh coriander, ginger, green chili, and a scoop of butter. This fusion of goat testicles, liver, and kidney redefines the very essence of indulgence. With luxuriously rich and daring flavors, every bite echoes the secrets of centuries past, a tribute to South Asia's culinary heritage. This dish isn't just a meal, it's a sonnet composed in the language of umami. <laughs> And so our unique food tour through Delhi comes to an end. Which of these five ultra unique dishes stood out the most to you? Was it the humble karore, the addictive opium egg pot, the epic mutton run, the brainy magas, or the bold gura kapoor kaleji? Delhi's kitchens are not just cooking spaces, but sanctuaries where passion, tradition, and creativity melt, producing culinary marvels that represent the people behind the food and all that came before them. So get out there and continue exploring the world of extraordinary flavors in Delhi the next time you visit. And if you're looking for more culinary adventures, subscribe to Best Ever Food India or watch some of our other videos. Thanks! Introducing Best Ever Coffee. I've traveled all over the world and no country has created a better coffee experience than Vietnam. That's why I partnered up with the local coffee experts at Le Coff to bring Vietnam's satisfying coffee experience right to your kitchen. Order now using the link below to receive this bold blend of Robusta and Arabica, a fin filter to brew the coffee, and a tube of sweetened condensed milk to add the perfect hit of sweetness. This isn't just coffee, this is an experience.